Hello, um, my name is Jordan Schutz. My name is Emre Sonmez. And we're out here today at Smart Car um, at their brand new offices. It's super awesome. And I just wanted to ask you a few questions about, about Smart Car. So, why do you think that Smart Car is so amazing for developers? Definitely. Um, so, Smart Car, to summarize, is an API platform for connected cars. Uh, so connected car is any car uh, that has a 3G or 4G modem inside, so basically the car is connected to the internet. Um, and what we allow developers to do uh, is authenticate with vehicles on behalf of users, or so vehicle owners in this case, um, and send HTTP requests to either pull data from the car, like the odometer or the location, um, or trigger actions uh, to like unlock and lock the doors. Um, so the benefit of our platform is you can integrate with using the Smart Car API once and as we ship support for more brands and more makes and models of cars, you don't have to worry about individually integrating with Audi or Tesla uh, or Volkswagen for example, you can just write your app on top of our API and it'll work across brands. Uh, so. That, that, that is super exciting. Um, and, and how do you see uh, the use of your guys' APIs um, being used and, and in the car industry? And, and um, like, what are some of the use cases for Definitely. that? Yeah. yeah, so our approach as a company is to make the car industry, which is normally a super closed off segment in space, accessible uh, to developers. And our belief is um, as cars become smarter and have more capabilities, it'll actually be developers, not the car manufacturers themselves, pioneering. Uh, new use cases that benefit all consumers of, of transportation, basically. Um, and so that today involves a set of use cases that we're focused, focused on, uh, and it includes things like on-demand uh, services. So this could be like on-demand mechanic for your car, you could service locate your car and service it with your consent as a vehicle owner and unlock it and even go inside the car if you let them. Um, it could be on-demand fuel delivery, uh, package delivery in the trunk of your car. So that's a whole segment of sort of up and coming, uh, we call them like Y Combinator-esque yeah, Combinator yeah. startups that are using our services. I know Amazon's doing that as well, exactly. like Amazon Prime exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and then we have other segments as well. So if you think of uh, car sharing, um, if you've used like Zipcar or enterprise rent rental cars, um, they're usually outfitted with these aftermarket hardware systems. and those systems cost a lot of money and you have to add them on the car after you buy them um, and pay for cellular data. So what we allow uh, companies like that to do using smart car uh, is to build their app on top of their API and they normally have newer fleets of cars that are fully connected. Uh, and so you could build your own even uh, key sharing and car sharing application on the smart car API with no hardware embedded on the vehicle. Uh, and that helps, you know, benefits both the consumer because it's much easier to just use your phone to unlock the car that's given to you, and also the company because the cost is much lower and it's much easier to integrate. Um, another one that's uh, super popular now, uh, if you're familiar with Metro Mile as an example, yeah. of an insurance company uh, that's doing this approach of per mile insurance. And so that means um, they ship out this dongle that will record your odometer and send it to them, and then in real time they can adjust your insurance rate based off how often you're driving. So if you commute from San Francisco to Mountain View every day, your insurance rate would be different um, than if you're just driving around the city every once in a while. What we enable, uh, would enable insurance companies to do is to build that type of system uh, on our API without having this dongle shipped to the vehicle owner. And uh, you know we you can permission uh, the app so that it only requests the dominant. That's one of the key parts of our platform as well as we believe the vehicle owner um, owns the data of their vehicle. And so if you go on our API documentation, we ask the vehicle owner to accept the set of permissions um, when you authenticate with the app. So for an insurance company, they don't need to know more than yeah. your odometer. Um, so you could just click allow odometer and now the insurance company would be able to fetch your odometer for your car. Yeah, so what are like the current APIs that you guys currently allow developers to use? I know you, you've mentioned odometer a lot. Yeah. Um, you can grab what land, longitude and latitude. Yeah. Are there any other ones? Yeah, so we're focused on five core ones. Um, it's locking and unlocking the doors, vehicle info, so that's the make and model of the car it's been. Um, and then odometer and location. Uh, and the goal of that is twofold. Uh, one is to make the API simpler to consume. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with cars, um, but we've chosen to start with those and really focus on building out a really good experience around yeah. those five endpoints. Uh, and then the other is those five are critical for the use cases I mentioned, which are sort of our day one 
uh, areas that we're super excited about. Awesome. Are there any ones coming up like in the future that you guys are planning on releasing or can you not say yeah. yet? So we're, yeah, we, we have a whole bunch uh, of endpoints that we could support. Uh, another one that's been super interesting, we've gotten a lot of interest for without even announcing it is um, electric vehicle endpoints and fuel endpoints. And this helps, uh, you know, one company is building uh, entirely on top of our API uh, and they're building a charging solution that optimizes charging your electric car based off of power grid and uh, how much energy costs at that point in time. So you can see uh, the battery level of the car and when to charge it. And they basically optimize starting and stopping charging so it gets to 100% by the morning when you wake up. Um, so there's quite a few. We don't have like our exact roadmap published, uh, but yeah. based off of the interest we've gotten, those are super popular. Yeah, yeah well, we're really excited at PubNub um, to basically be integrating you guys into our serverless platform yeah. and allow developers to be able to send messages from PubNub to actually unlock their door exactly. and, and close their door. So we're really excited to be partnering with you guys and be able to create some awesome application um, using the PubNub platform and the Smart Car API. Likewise. Yeah, Likewise. so um, thank you so much for uh, doing this interview and um, yeah, it was great talking with you. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Appreciate it.